It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Thank you, thank you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. And I'm Colin Jost. The investigation into the tragedy in Las Vegas this week has sparked a larger debate in America between people who want common sense gun control and people who are wrong. <laughs> this shouldn't be a partisan issue. The guy had 47 guns. No one should own 47 of anything. If you own 47 cats, you are not a responsible pet owner. You're a crazy cat lady. And unlike with guns, the government will actually come and take your cats away because everyone agrees that's insane. Also, this guy bought 33 of his guns in the past year, and that didn't set off any kind of alert. If I buy $100 worth of Chick-fil-A, I get a text message from my bank that says, did you just purchase $100 worth of Chick-fil-A? Please, Colin, tell us this is fraud. <laughs> how is no one keeping track of how many guns people own? There is a real law in Texas that says it's illegal to own more than six dildos. And I get why. No one needs that many. If you have more than six dildos, it's a clear sign you are training for something awful. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> why is it so hard to get gun control in this country? I mean, who are these delicate snowflakes that we can't just tell, no, you're not allowed to have 40 guns anymore, Earl. From now on, you can have one gun, max, and six bullets. If you can't hit what you're shooting with six bullets, then you don't need to be shooting at it. Learn karate or use your words. <laughs> I'm sick of this narrative that Americans just love guns so much. It's not true. 78% of Americans don't even own a gun. And 3% of Americans own 50% of all the guns in the country. That's the problem, that whiny 3% that needs to feel secure all the time. That's why I think we should do a buyback program. For every gun you trade in, we give you one half inch of penis enlargement. <laughs> If you trade in 10 guns, you get five more inches. <laughs> and if women want to trade in their guns, don't. Keep, keep your guns. <laughs> You're probably going to need it to fight off all those men in spandex showing off their brand new eight inch penises. <laughs> <laughs> Speaker of the House Paul Ryan said that he wants Congress to look into some proposals for gun control, but first he wants to look into this briefcase from the NRA. <laughs> You know, we just, we got to do something about the guns in this country. And I know about the Second Amendment. I know you think you need your guns to protect you from the government. Now, I notice the people that bring up the Second Amendment all the time are always the same people that preach, respect law enforcement, support the troops. Meanwhile, they have a closet full of weapons because they think those same troops are going to come and drive their house away. It's hypocritical. It's like saying, I love my wife, I trust my wife, but I swear to God, that sneaky bitch is coming for me. <laughs> In other news, President Trump finally arrived in Puerto Rico this week, and let's just say, problem solved. <laughs> Nothing says I understand the gravity of the situation like a billionaire tossing six rolls of paper towels to hurricane victims. Watching this, you know, I realize Trump might not be the best president, but he would be the best mascot. Just let him go nuts like the Philly fanatic, <laughs> throwing free stuff to fans, cruising around on a four-wheeler, mocking other countries while he shakes that big old butt around. <laughs> Attorney General Jeff Sessions is now ending an Obama policy protecting transgender employees from discrimination. Clearly, Trump and Sessions only care about reversing this policy because Obama created it. What we need to do is convince these guys that Obama wrote the Second Amendment to protect guns. <laughs> the next day, Trump will be tossing our guns in the ocean like paper towels. <laughs> Supreme Court is also <laughs> back in session this week with new Trump-appointed Justice Neil Gorsuch. Here to comment is liberal justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. You are coming and swinging, Justice. 
Oh, no, I can't go on a swing. I'm too tiny. <laughs> Last time I went on a swing, I ended up in space. <laughs> okay, all right, justice. What do you think of your new colleague, Neil Gorsuch? Oh. This new guy, yep, 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 yep. If I knew he was coming in so hot, I would have worn an oven mitt, which is what I use as a sleeping bag. But I, I, I will say, Carl, it's nice to have nine justices again, because for the last year, you know, we've been a hung jury, except for Justice Alito. <laughs> that guy legislates from the bench, but he measures from the balls. That's a Ginsburn. What? <laughs> All right, Justice, well, you, you might not... <laughs> you might not have a full bench for long because Justice Kennedy says he's considering retiring. Are you worried about that? Oh, yeah, of course I am. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't wait to see the goon Trump brings in next. The Honorable Justice Steven Seagal. <laughs> Kennedy, Kennedy was supposed to be our swing vote, right? If he goes, it's going to be Justice Roberts. And if he's swinging, I'm taking my keys out of the bowl. <laughs> You smell like a hoarder? What is that? I don't know. What is, it smells like smoke. What is it? It's a Ginsburn. <laughs> yeah, right, yes. Yeah, and Kennedy, Kennedy could be the decisive vote in this big new gerrymandering yeah, decision. The ger uh, gerrymandering. Yeah, the Thank you for saying gerrymandering. Look at this. Look at this. Gerrymandered districts. Look at the way the politicians redrew these maps. That's not a district, that's a tapeworm. <laughs> they snip, they snip a little here, a little there. Hello, we see what you're doing. It's like they're at a cocktail party. They're taking all the shrimp. <laughs> and all the Democrats are left with is the sweaty cheddar. <laughs> By the way, sweaty cheddar is what they call Steve Bannon in college. Ouch! <laughs> that's a nasty Ginsburn. <laughs> off. That's amazing. At my age. <laughs> well, it does seem, it seems like you're in good spirits, Justice. Yeah, I, I gotta be, Colin. The Supreme Court justice is the only job where people openly place bets on when you're gonna croak. Well, joke's on you. I made a deal with our female god that I would trade height for years. So by 2095, it'll be the size of a Playmobile, but I'll still be kicking ass and taking Beneva. Are still determined to stay and fight. Yeah. Well, who else is going to do it? You know, it's, it's always the women, okay? It just goes with the territory when you got yabos. <laughs> or in my case, two little oxygen masks like they got on airplanes. <laughs> they look empty and they only drop down in an emergency. <laughs> That's a self-skins burn. Hello. Justice.